Randy <laughs> Weingarten, who's the president of the teachers union, and she is a real piece of work. Uh, she gave a speech about critical race theory, whether they're teaching it or not, or whether they plan to teach it or not, or how important it is or isn't. Let's take a look. Critical race theory is not taught in elementary schools or middle schools or high schools. It's a method of examination taught in law school and in college that helps analyze whether systemic racism exists, and in particular, whether it has an effect on law and public policy. But culture warriors are labeling any discussion of race, racism, or discrimination as CRT to try to make it toxic. They are bullying teachers and trying to stop us from teaching students accurate history. Okay, on one hand, she's telling us it's not taught, and then she's also telling us that the people <laughs> trying to stop it are trying to stop the truth from being taught. So, little inconsistency there. I mean, she is an extraordinary liar. The idea that cultural warriors are doing this to stop any honest assessment of race or racism be taught is complete nonsense. The, the new meme that they have is, oh, they don't want anyone to discuss race or anything like that. We all know that's not true. I have no doubt that everyone in these four little boxes here was taught about racism and slavery and MLK and Jim Crow laws and everything else. Carlin, you've been like at the lead fight against this thing. Um, Randy Weidgarten, go. Yeah, I mean, she, she's absolutely lying. And if anyone has any questions about this, I actually on my YouTube channel right now have a recording of an eighth grade class in which they were teaching critical race theory. So I have it on video. I know exactly how it's being taught. Now, the problem is that they are not teaching critical race theory in K through 12 schools in the same way that they're teaching it in colleges and universities. So what they do in K through 12 schools is they just get little nuggets in there. They like what they did in this eighth grade class is they said, if you agree with the Pledge of Allegiance and you want society to be fair and just, then you need to believe in equity versus equality because mm -hmm. we want everyone to have the same outcomes. They just plant these little nuggets all the way through the educational experience so they're primed when they go to college. But I'll tell you this too, one of the state bill, I worked on the state bill in New Hampshire that was unfortunately watered down by my rhino governor, Chris Sununu, but before it was watered down, it actually had a provision in it that said, you can teach every concept in this bill. You just have to teach it from an objective fashion. You cannot be an activist. You cannot teach things as factually true that are not factually true. And so the teachers unions are not telling the truth about these bills and what they cover. You can still teach about slavery. You can still teach about the Holocaust. These are just downright lies. Right. It's just extraordinary. We're not teaching it. And also it must be taught. Uh, Viva, I think you saw the op-ed piece in the Times a couple of days ago by David French and a bunch of other people basically saying that these anti-CRT uh, laws that certain states are passing are bad ideas. Um, but to me, uh, we don't teach Nazism, right? We don't teach everyone to be Nazis. You know what we say on my channel with Robert Barnes, confession through projection, and you watch what she just said there. Half of it is pure projection in the idea of trying to bully people into silence and demonize discourse. That is, I, I say this from an, an absolute outsider's perspective. I have seen the evolution of CRT in the United States over the last two years. What she described as what the adversaries are trying to do to her is exactly what they are trying to do to yes. anybody who opposes CRT in schooling. And her double speak that we don't teach it in, a, in, a, in elementary school or whatever, but it's taught in universities. Well, they give it another word in universities, but we've seen it now. And we've seen admissions from the teacher saying, we want to teach it. And if you oppose it, you are the, are, are the bigot and the phobe and the ist. But the accusation is exactly what they are doing themselves. Walter, since I'm guessing we all agree that she's lying here, what do we do about all of the liars? That it seems like almost everyone in charge of everything important right now is an abject liar. And I always quote that Alexander Solzhenitsyn quote, uh, they know they're lying, we know they're lying, they know we know they're lying, and they continue to lie. It's like, there's no shame. There's nothing we can do to shame her. She's not gonna stop. Well, first of all, in her case, America needs to see more of her because <laughs> because she is everything that every child grows up hating about public school teachers. She is pedantic, smug. She talks down to people. She pretends that she's you know infallible when you can see 
right through half of her things. She's not logically consistent. We need the liars, especially when they're as bad as her. Just keep lying. Because th this tactic of denying that something exists always breeds a very obvious counter move, proving that it does. And it's a very easy thing to do. And so as, if they're going to go with this, you know, it's not happening. What, you know, it's, do you see any uh, monster in the room here while it stands over their shoulder? They're going to lose. Walter, I got a title for your next book. Well, you just came up with it yourself, but just keep lying. Like to me, that's, <laughs> yeah. maybe that's the meme that we need to be pushing for all these people. Instead of keep <laughs> calling them liars, it's yeah, keep lying guys, keep lying.